ALS, also known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a disease affecting over 200,000 people worldwide. Despite its discovery in 1869, the cause of ALS is still largely unknown. Many scientists are researching the underlying mechanisms causing this devastating disease. Some scientists have focused on the nucleocytoplasmic trafficking mechanism as a potential cause of ALS. So what exactly is nucleocytoplasmic trafficking and why is it important? Before we dive into this specific process, we need to understand the structure of a cell. Eukaryotic cells are highly specialized cells that are compartmentalized in order to help with proper cellular organization and functioning. Let's start with the nucleus. A cell's nucleus contains your genetic material, specifically DNA. It is surrounded by a double membrane that separates it from the cell's cytoplasm, which is a fluid that makes up the rest of the cell. Proteins are produced according to your cell's DNA. You can think of DNA as your cell's recipe for a protein. This begins in the nucleus where specialized molecules read and copy the protein recipes in a process known as transcription. This copy of the recipe, also known as mRNA, is then transported out of the nucleus, through the nuclear pores, and into the cytoplasm, where different specialized molecules create the protein based on those instructions. This process of protein creation is called translation. The movement of molecules, including newly created proteins and mRNA between the nucleus and the cytoplasm, is a highly regulated transfer process known as nucleocytoplasmic trafficking. Material must pass through the nuclear pores before entering or exiting the nucleus. These nuclear pores create a selectively permeable sieve that prevents large molecules from entering or exiting the nucleus. These large molecules need a little extra help from specialized nuclear transport proteins to pass through the nuclear pore. For large proteins to get into the nucleus, they need to attach to a protein called importin. Once these two are bound together, a nuclear localization signal, or NLS, binds to this complex and transports them through the nuclear pores and into the nucleus. Once inside the nucleus, another protein called RAN-GTP binds to the complex. This results in the release of the large protein into the nucleus. For large proteins to exit the nucleus, they follow a similar but opposite process. This process begins by RAN-GTP binding to an exporting protein. After this happens, a nuclear export signal or NES binds to this complex, which then binds to the large protein. After this, the export complex travels through the nuclear pore into the cell's cytoplasm, where the complex separates due to the conversion of RAN-GTP to RAN-GDP. This causes the release of the large protein into the cytoplasm. mRNA molecules are transported via a different pathway, involving other molecules. Following transcription, mRNAs are assembled onto a protein complex. This complex ensures that mRNA travels exclusively out of the nucleus. So how is this all related to ALS? To be honest, scientists are not exactly sure. However, researchers have found that individuals with neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS, have clusters of nuclear proteins such as TDP43 and FUS in their cytoplasm, but accumulations of TDP43 and FUS have never been found in the same ALS individual. Interestingly, 95% of people with neurodegenerative diseases will have an accumulation of mutated TDP43 proteins in the cytoplasm. The aggregation of TDP43 or FUS in the cytoplasm suggests a potential flaw in the nucleocytoplasmic trafficking process in ALS patients. But scientists are still unsure as to which step of the trafficking process goes wrong. 
they have formulated some hypotheses to explain which steps are most likely to become faulty. One hypothesis is that the small components of nuclear pores might mutate, disrupting the nuclear pores' normal function. Another hypothesis involves a potential mutation in the RAN protein, affecting both the import and export process of large proteins between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Finally, researchers have also hypothesized that the proteins involved in the export of mRNA are faulty, resulting in accumulation of mRNA inside the nucleus. As it stands, there is still a lot of research that needs to be done to fully understand the effects of the nucleocytoplasmic trafficking process on ALS. Although the cause of ALS is still unknown, over the last few years, there has been extensive research investigating other potential causes. If you want to learn more about ALS or other potential causes, check out the other YouTube videos in the Demystifying Medicine channel. Or you can visit the ALS Society of Canada at www.als.ca. You can also check out the links listed in the description below.